Alright, here we go. Um, took 20 minutes to install a fresh copy of OS X. Oh. It speaks. Um, it's pretty crazy. Let's mute that. But um, took 20 minutes to install a fresh copy of Snow Leopard. Pretty snazzy compared to the two hours it took for my laptop to install it. So, yeah. And that's a um, 2008 dual core uh, system. And it had two gigabytes of RAM. So, let's get on with the setup process. Uh, US. Okay. Good. Is that your keyboard? I have an external hard drive here. It's a Firewire. It's um, 250. I have a second one, but for some reason that drive is acting up and will not work. So, let's see how long it takes to set it up. Alright. Uh, no, you're not transfer now. I'm going to set this up from scratch. Select your computer connect to the internet. It's going to be cable. I don't have internet set up right now. So for now. Set that up. First name. Oh, uh, this part I'm probably going to watch. watch out. Questions? Like business? High school. Uh, what do you describe best? Education, faculty, engineering. Sport designer, or master. Alright. Um. Like that. Special name. Okay, that'll do. Time zone. Um, what time is it? Oh, that's what time it is. Special. It's 918. Oops. Okay. Uh, eventually, I will hook this up to the. Yeah, it's saying right now I have to set up the internet, which I will do. I don't. Mm, I'm going to do that right after this, because I have this, I'm going to go get it, if I still have it over here, it is a, oh, this still works, I used this on my old system before I got a wireless card, it's a um, Netgear wireless antenna, I guess what it does is there's two boxes of these, these things right here, you plug in your computer on this one, or your input on another one, and you plug this out of your router into here and it sends a wireless signal to the other device that's similar to this and then you can get internet through it. So I'm going to set this up. It's, I don't have a, um, since we did the renovations on my house, we haven't set up the internet and this room doesn't have any. My friends are, um, oh gosh, are all in a buzz about me getting this computer. And I'll send them images and everything. So let's see how this goes. Should go pretty quick. On fire. Oh, finally, I can set up a backup. Set that up later. Good. I'm going to eventually install Xcode, but I don't need Xcode right now. This is good. Um, let's see if everything's running okay. Uh, it looks good. I mean, Xcode, I love. So, start up this. I'm going to make sure it's set to, yep. Wondering. Oh yes, I have to do that. I remember this. Oops. Unfortunately, the person I got this from didn't include any uh, built-in apps, so I'm going to have to download all the apps I want off the App Store when I eventually get internet connection. So, one of my plans is to do that. And this monitor, of course, is temporary, as I said before. And if I didn't, I said it now. Uh, oh, there it is. Hard disks. That's what I want. I want to show my hard drives. Got everything I want here. I'm actually going to rename this computer. It's going to be called I might have to restart the computer. But um, I'm gonna re rename this computer to something I found on the internet. I'm not gonna take credit for this name, but it just I was watching someone else's unboxing of a Mac Pro and the name just struck me so funny because it, it just, just makes so much sense for these things. How do you change the name of the computer? That's what I want to know. I'm not new to the Mac OS. 
I know my way around it pretty well, but when it comes to little things like changing names, I've never done before because I've always bought used a system that's currently in use. I've never set up a Mac. Like, this is my first time setting up my own Mac. Um, oh, in fact, I can inject that CD. Okay. One of the benefits of this computer is it comes with two CD slots. It came with the person who shipped it, company Gazelle, it's a poor, good company it seems like. They shipped it with two super drives, so I have two burning cube builds. Right. Silence that, it's annoying. One of the benefits of the iPad 1 is that docking station, I love it. I don't know what people were saying about the, um, can go into landscape mode. I never use landscape mode, I love the portrait, it works perfectly for me, so. Uh, I'll be back when I have finished this.